Nikki's back, 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 back again, again, again. Nikki's back, back, back. Tell your friends, friends, friends. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. So y'all already know we're gonna see what's tea, what's popping. So I'm gonna tap into today's collective energy, figure out what's going on. Let's get some messages for you guys. Hope you guys out. Give you guys some clarity. So spirit, let's connect to my secrets release. Let's connect to the energy, please. Connect me to the collective in three, two, one. What's going on? Let's see what's going on. I will be using a couple different decks as well. So yeah, let's just start. I am listening to the sacral chakra meditation. So some of you guys need to be working on your sacral chakra. Okay, or maybe that's something that's been blocked or unbalanced because usually I do everything that I do is not a coincidence. Okay, Queen of Pentacles is here. Some of you guys could be a Capricorn. What about this Queen of Pentacles? Some of you guys could be earning more money or if you feel like, yeah, if you guys were stagnant or you felt like your money was not there or you just felt like there wasn't enough. Spirit is saying that there's more money coming in. Okay, some of you guys could be actually getting a promotion or moving up in the ladder in your career okay that's what i'm getting with the queen of pentacles or maybe there's a business that's going off if you some of you guys are self-employed i feel like there's going to be more clients or whatever you're doing they're coming in okay so you're no longer going to be in this energy something about taxes could be significant so i don't know if some of y'all waiting on a tax free fund check you know i don't know but spirit is saying that you're going to be fine okay so i am getting that clarify the queen of pentacles so that could just be a general message for somebody Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Or somebody's looking at you because they see you as their ideal partner, marriage material, wifey, somebody who they feel as if they can have children with. Are you the Capricorn? Yeah, this is somebody possibly from the past or what's the Six of Cups about? Clarify the Six of Cups. Scorpio energy so we have Scorpio and Capricorn and the Queen of Cups okay so there's two Queens here so there's two women or two men involved so is this somebody okay somebody ended a relationship I don't know who was it with was it with the Queen of Pentacles or the Queen of Cups Somebody finally left a situation or this is what you're doing. You're finally leaving a situation behind. Yeah, the emperor is about to choose somebody. That's what I'm getting. Okay, he could be an Aries or she. What's going on? Clarify the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups. The strength card in reverse. But who is this towards spirit? Who is this towards? Somebody does not want to hold back from you anymore, collective. If somebody, if you were waiting on somebody to hit you up or, I don't know, I feel like somebody wants to like hear from you. And now we have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so the Nine of Cups is in, is in the reverse with the Strength card in the reverse. So I feel like this person is possibly not satisfied or not filled, fulfilled with this water sign. Maybe he or she was just in this relationship due to children. Okay, something about children could be involved because this person is looking towards you, collective. Queen of Pentacles, are you the Queen of Pentacles? They want to come towards you, but I feel like they finally freed themselves from a toxic relationship. I feel like they only stayed in that relationship due to family or due to children. Okay, this is not satisfying at all. Hence why we have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. And I feel like this person is telling me to tell you that they don't want to wait or they don't want to stay away from you anymore or any longer. This person is ready to confess or ready to come towards you. I don't know. What else? But some of you guys are, yeah, the Empress. They want to come towards you. Look, they're, they're focused on you. The Hermit card, the Hermit with the Empress. So this could have been a man or a woman who was sneaking around watching you. I don't know how they were doing that when they were in a relationship, possibly with a water sign or with a Leo, okay? Like they can't help themselves. Whoever this is, they can't help but to watch you. And I feel like this Queen of Cups or King of Cups, they possibly found out that they were watching you or still in love with you. Is this somebody from your past with the Six of Cups? They could have even been fighting and arguing over this possibly. But the Death card is here. That situation is completely over. 
So now there's a woman possibly looking at you, Collective, because they're wondering why this person chose you instead of them. Again, I feel like this other person chose you or is going to choose you because you're their wish fulfillment. They're not happy with this other person, with this Queen of Cups. They're not. Okay, obviously, if they were, they wouldn't be watching you. Okay, so you could be the Empress or the Emperor. But like I said before, they were already getting into a lot of arguments over you. And you're not even doing anything but being in your own little element. Doing you, possibly growing your business, your finances. Some of y'all are workaholics, so spirit is like, hey, sis, chill out. Okay, because some of y'all are like working too much to the point where you drain yourself. Okay, so spirit is just saying, slow down a little bit. Like that money is going to come in, like I said before. Okay, so I am getting that. Let me put these up real quick. <clears throat> So what else is going on? So what does this person want to say to my collective? I'm telling you, this person cannot help themselves. You could even be in the spotlight with the, because I'm looking at the star right here. Is there something that you do that influences a lot of people? Yeah, Ace of Cups is here. This person wants to give their love offer to you. So for some of you guys, were you waiting on somebody to leave somebody for you? Okay, let me reward. Let me, let me just pause. Let me reward that. I feel like some of you guys were waiting for somebody to possibly end a connection so that they can come to you. Or maybe that's what somebody is trying to do, but you're not fucking with it. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Someone just said at all. You're not. Like, you don't care if this person left this other water sign or whoever, this Leo. You don't care. You're on a whole different path. Okay, so clarify the Empress. Yeah, the star card. Yes, some of you guys are possibly in the spotlight. Somebody wants their star back. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody is in desperate need of some healing and you are the healer collective. Okay, that's why they want to come towards you because if anything, they were being depleted in this other connection. They were losing stuff. This person was losing fame, losing money, just recognition, all of that. When they were in this connection with this other woman or other man, I don't know. It's either a Pisces, a water sign, or a Leo, okay, as here. But they're scared as hell because they know that they possibly deceived you or they know that you're not even, you're not worried about them. Like, literally, I see that you guys are in your own lane right now, okay? So, what about my collective? What about my collective? Clarify the star card. Aquarius energy. Not gonna lie either. This person may want to, like, come back to have sex with you because your sex is very healing. Somebody wants to be healed by you. But I feel like you want nothing to do with this person because you know that they're not good for you at all. Especially if they were gonna try to choose you. Like, you're not second best. You're first, okay? So if this person didn't choose you before, you're like, well, you're not choosing me at all. That's what I'm getting from you, collective, okay? And this is possibly why this person is sad, heartbroken in their feelings because they know that already. But I feel like somebody is trying to get you to change your mind or trying to get you to view them in a different light. And I feel like you view them how they shown you. So if this, if this person shown you that they were a deceiver, that they lied, that they cheated, that they chose somebody over you, that's how you see them. Okay, like the, you're not about to change your mind about it. You're not confused about how this person treated you. You see them for what they are. Okay, I was about to say a bozo. Okay, so I don't know. <laughs> what else, spirit? What else? What else is going on? Yeah, Eight of Cups. This person is saying that they don't want you to walk away from the situation. They feel like the situation is not over. But to you, it is. With the Wheel of Fortune, it's already completed. The cycle's already over. But somebody is still holding on to you, Collective. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Someone just said, don't go. They don't want you to go. Somebody feels like you're their star. They have to have you. Like, they know that you're one of a kind so losing you they're never gonna find somebody like you ever again and that's what they're deeply afraid of because they're afraid that they're gonna have to just go back to this past person or i don't know like what else clarify this eight of cups but some of you guys already left the building that's what i'm getting with the empress card it's like okay you didn't want to treat me like the empress or the emperor that i am I'm just going to leave respectfully. You didn't put up a fight. You didn't argue. Like, I feel like you were very calm in this situation because you know what's meant for you is going to be for you. Just period. Okay. And then on top of that, somebody was lying, cheating, trying to like in a way confuse you and you're not confused. Like I said before, you see this person for who they are. What else? 
Yeah, you are. I told you, you already moved away. Even your spirit team is the reason why I feel like you left the situation alone. I'm proud of you guys, okay? Because it's almost like, I feel like you're, you're telling yourself, you're like, look, if you didn't choose me first, you're not choosing me at all, like I said. Okay, so with you moving on, I feel like there are more things coming your way. And I feel like since you've left this other person alone, there's more money coming in. There's more status. Whatever it is that you're wanting in your life, it's coming in. And it's because I feel like you listen to God. You listen to divine order. When he told you to leave a situation alone, you left. You literally left. Okay, so I feel like there is somebody that is trying to get you to backtrack or go back to them and you're not. You're, you're continuously moving forward. And since you are, there are all these blessings and just all these blessings are about to rain down on you for listening. Okay, because you know what's meant for you and what's good for you. And this situation right here, this other person that left somebody or is trying to leave somebody for you, you know that situation is not good at all. You know it's not. This person is in a way trying to run from their demons. That's what I'm getting. And you don't want no parts. You're like, listen, I already slayed all my demons. I'm good. I don't want any parts of this. Like, I just, I'm just trying to live my life. Like, again, you're not fighting this person. You're not arguing. You're not making fun of this person. You're just doing you. Okay? So, like I said before, you're in your own lane. And since you are, things are moving ahead for you. Okay, I don't really know about this other person, but like I said before, it's crazy because I feel like with you moving forward with this Six of Swords, Spirit is on that path of you walking away and, you know, doing you. Spirit is going to align you with the person that you're meant to be with. Okay, Four of Wands is here. Clarify the Four of Wands. Some of you guys, you got to be prepared because I feel like God is about to prepare you to be somebody's wife, be somebody's husband, all of that. That's why Queen of Pentacles is here with the Empress. Some of you guys could also be a mother. If you guys are like mothers or fathers or you're like a single mother or father, don't worry because again, God is going to align you with somebody who will take in your children as well. You don't have to be afraid like, oh my gosh, like I have kids and I don't think nobody's going to love me properly because I have, no, that's not, that's not what's going to happen. Okay. God is going to align you with the person that you're meant to be with. Okay. And they're going to love your children as well. 100%. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Claire, yeah, I told you they're going to love your kids. Some of you guys could have one child. I don't know. This child is going to love this new person. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so let's tap to this new person because I feel like I got all the answers I needed or little messages. Okay, we already got the little context of what's going on. So clarify the four ones. I'm telling you guys, some of y'all are really about to be walking down the aisle in a couple years or maybe you're already planning a wedding for some of you guys. So it's like... Some of you guys could also have like a, a destination wedding or maybe you want to have a beach wedding or an outside wedding. I don't know. That is significant. What else? And also when I'm looking at this, this is giving me a divine marriage. There's nothing toxic about it. Nothing toxic about this new lover that's coming in. Some of you guys are already with them. Okay, so clarify the four ones. Some of you guys are about to, when y'all move in together, y'all, ooh, this other person just gonna have to watch. I'm telling you, because I feel like, man, this, whoever this new person is, they're about to put in so much work. It's crazy, because I feel like you're going to be telling yourself, I have never experienced this type of love before. Like, the person that's coming in for you, Collective, they're going to love you wholeheartedly to the point where you're like, wow, this is, I have never in my life been loved like this. It's going to feel new. It's going to feel a little uncomfortable because this person is so pure. Their love is so pure. Okay. And I feel like this other person, unfortunately, has to watch. And they're going to be in despair because, again, they lost out. They should have chose you first. Somebody decided to keep you as a rebound or, you know, keep you on the side. Like, okay, when I'm good and ready to get out of this other relationship, possibly with a water sign, or when I'm good and ready to stop being a hoe or whatever they're doing, I'm going to come back to the collective. No. Once this person left you the first time, you were gone, bro. You were not coming back. You're like, okay, cool. You didn't choose me the first time. You're not choosing me at all. And this person has to watch. They have to watch you be successful. Some of them, they have to watch you be in the limelight. They have to watch you be in love with somebody else. They literally have to watch. And that is their karma. Okay? This person was supposed to choose you first. This could have even been like a divine 
uh, connection, but God gives us free will and this person used their free will to possibly entertain a water sign or I don't know, go back to their past, possibly somebody from their past with the six of cups and it didn't work out. And since it didn't work out, guess what they're trying to do? They're trying to come back to you, but you want no parts. Some of you guys are in a new connection. So what about this new connection? Clarify the four of wands. Clarify the four of wands. The sun card. I cannot, man. Some of y'all. Some of you guys are single. So by Leo season, I feel like you guys may um, meet somebody during like the summertime. Spring, summer is significant. Okay. You could be a Virgo they or they could be a Virgo or you could be a Leo. Leo is heavy. We have Libra, Leo, Virgo, Aquarius. Virgo again. Okay. Capricorn. So what about the sun card? I'm telling you, this is about to be your wish fulfillment. And it's crazy too, because this is somebody new. You don't have to worry about anybody from the past coming. Yep, confirmation, I got a notification. This is not anybody from the past. Like I said, this is somebody completely new. And I feel like that's what's going to shock you because it's refreshing. This is a connection where you don't have to worry about somebody doing you dirty, doing you wrong, or lying, deceiving you, cheating, and you know, backstabbing you. No, this is going to uh, this is going to be completely like a wish fulfillment. The Sun card, okay. What else? Somebody could have beautiful eyes or a beautiful facial structure, okay. Somebody could even have like hazel eyes or something about somebody's energy or the way that they look, they glow, okay? What else? Or you're going to be glowing because you know how you're with the right person and you just glow and people are like, damn, like what's going on with you? Like you look so happy. Like I, I truly uh, believe collective that once you get into this new connection with this other person or this new lover, you're going to be extremely happy. You guys may even have a child together, a son. Look, I'm telling you, look at this. All you have to do is take a risk. You're going to have to take a risk, take a leap of faith. Okay, six of, uh, six of Wands and the Fool card is here. Clarify the Six of Wands. The two of you guys may actually be in the spotlight together. Or that's how this person found, uh, found you because you're in the spotlight. Maybe this person is going to meet you on social media. That's for somebody. Okay, but I feel like this is going to hit you like a ton of bricks. Because here you are, focus on your career, focus on your business, whatever you're doing, your children, and boom, here's this new relationship. Like, I feel like that's how it's going to go. Because again, when you're not focused on love, that's when you get it. That's when you receive it. And I feel like some of you guys are not. Again, with the um, Nine of Pentacles, some of you guys are single. You're really just focused on your stability, on your family, on your health on your wealth confirmation and i just feel like with you not worried about love some of you guys may not even be watching love readings you know like i feel like you're i don't want to say you're completely turned off but you're allowing god to basically guide you you know it like like i said before if it's meant to be it's going to be and I feel like some of you guys are just not worried about it anymore. You're not obsessing over it. You're not obsessing over these these love readings anymore because you know that it's going to come when it's meant to come. And for some of you guys, it's coming, okay? And I feel like you I feel like you're going to be I was about to say spooked. You're going to be spooked because Whoever this new lover is, they're like you. That's why I said, I don't know if this is going to be a twin flame, a soulmate connection. That's going to be up to you guys, okay? I don't know, okay? I mean, we do have the four wands here, but, you know, you just have to use your own discernment. But whatever the case, I feel like this is going to be your match, okay? So what else? Some of you guys, this could be a same-sex connection. Look, I told you, you're going to meet your match. The chariot, yin and yang. Oh, my gosh. Again, marriage is involved in this connection, 100%. We have all this yellow. Like, some of you guys are about to be extremely happy. I hope you know that. So, what else? Clarify the chariot. And look, this could have been something that, yeah, after all of this heartbreak, this tears for some of you guys, because after you guys went through possibly something traumatic or traumatic relationships, you, some of you guys could have felt like you weren't going to find the one, or maybe you're just like, you know what? I give up. 
I'm not about to ask for love. I don't want anybody. I'm just going to be single. And I feel like you're not meant to be single. You're not meant to be in heartbreak. You're not meant to be sad. You're meant to be with the love of your life. And I feel like this previous person, this past person was just a lesson. Honestly, it pushed... If you didn't meet this other person, I don't know, this past person, then you wouldn't have known your worth. That's what I'm getting with the Queen of Pentacles. Now you know yourself. You know what you want. You know what you deserve. You know how you're supposed to get treated. Because I feel like you guys treat, you treat yourself very, very well. So you're like, okay, well, I can bring, I can bring the table. Like, it's almost like you have everything at your own table. You have the chair, you have your silverware, you have your entree, okay? You have your full meal. So it's just like you're asking, you're, it's almost like you're asking yourself, like, is somebody going to be able to bring what I bring? And yes, somebody is. It's just not this other person. It's not the person who hurt you. Like I said before, it's a new love. This new love is going to be able to bring everything that you're looking for. Whatever you're going to bring to the table, they're going to bring plus more. That's what I'm getting, okay? And it's somebody new. This is somebody completely new. This is not anybody from the past. Everybody from the past that you possibly dealt with or entertained or had a cycle with, that cycle is completed with the Wheel of Fortune. It's 100% completed. Congratulations, collective. You passed the test. Now you're moving on to new love, okay? What else? I'm proud of you guys. Okay. What else? What else? What else about this new love? I told this person is a sweetheart. Oh, MG. This person is such a sweetheart. Like, for real. Knight of Cups. It is crazy because I feel like some of you guys, spirit is saying, don't push this person away because you may be thinking to yourself, like, why is this person being so nice? Like, why are you just like, you know, and I, I feel like it's because you're so used to getting betrayed and hurt and just stabbed in the back. That it's almost like you're you're going to be expecting that to happen again with this new person. And spirit is saying, no, not at all. This person is going to treat you like a queen, treat you like a king that you are. Okay, so don't push this person away because you're scared. Okay, because again, you're not used to this. You're not used to somebody like this. You're not. Okay, so please use discernment because again, this person is not the enemy at all. What else? This person is very playful, innocent, caring. This is somebody where it's like, if you end up, let's just say, for example, you're sick, right? This person's going to run your bath water, go get you some medicine, cook dinner, confirmation yet again. Like, I'm telling you, this person is perfect for you, bro. Like, this person is going to do everything that they can to make you happy, make you smile, all of that. It's this new lover. Like, this is so beautiful. What else? What else about this new person? say this new love is about to demolish this old love like that's just what I want to say like bro you're gonna be thinking to yourself like what was I doing dealing with these other people like what like I really wasted my time on these bozos like never like you know like that's what I'm getting because this new relationship is going to be so different it's weird you know and it's just like oh my gosh I can't believe I even entertain these lames you know but it's just a lesson we all go through it and you know at the end of the day as long as you get out of it and you free yourself you're good and I feel like that's what you guys are doing there we go my camera just shut off what else what else about this new person? What, what else about this new person? Yeah, this new love is like top tier. 100%. Okay. Ooh, and somebody is getting judged for the way that they treated you. Possibly for them sneaking around, being a hoe. Literally being like the biggest hoe ever. They're getting judged by God themselves. And everything that they want or that they want in their life, it's going to be coming in slow. Because they're getting karma. This person from the past who who tried to act like they were single or didn't know what they wanted or who they wanted. And they try to sleep around. They're getting judged. Okay. And everything is moving extremely slow in this person's life. So I don't know why you need to know that, but I don't know. What else? 
What else about this new love? King of Swords. This could be an air sign. Uh, Aquarius or Sagittarius that you're meeting. Again, they're the Emperor. What about this King of Swords? Somebody is very truthful as well. It's like everything that they say, it's the truth. They're, this person doesn't even have like, they don't lie or anything. Like I feel like this person is very blunt. This person is straightforward. So you don't ever have to worry about this person trying to like deceive you. Okay, so what else? Clarify this King of Swords. Cause why do I feel like this is somebody else as well? Yeah, the Knight of Wands. So is this the air sign? Okay, so somebody's definitely gonna be in their feelings because again, not only are they gonna see you with somebody else, but they're gonna be bitter about it. Somebody may even try to come back and have sex with you so that they can ruin this new connection. Confirmation, bro. I keep getting all these confirmations, bro. For real, look at that, four cups. I cannot make this up. Four of Cups. I told you somebody from the past is going to try to trick you to come back, possibly have sex, so that you can ruin this new connection. Please, I repeat, do not do it. Don't do it. It's not even worth it. This person's sex ain't even worth it. Trust me, okay? Because I feel like this new person, they're everything that you need. So this person over here trying to make it seem like, oh, they're the better choice. They're not. They should have chose you first and they didn't. Sucks to suck. Okay, but I'm telling you right now, collective, somebody, they're going to try to swing that little thing. Their little wiener. I don't know. They're going to try to swing it your way. And you need to pass that to somebody else. <laughs> you need to go ahead and pass that to somebody else. Pass the baton to somebody else. Okay, because I'm telling you, obviously, this person is bitter. They're going to be bitter. They're going to do everything in their power to try to get you back. But it's because you're with somebody that loves you correctly. So what are they going to do? They're going to try to stop it. I don't think it's going to work. That's why I'm giving you this reading because this is a warning. This is a message to not entertain this past person. Okay? They're a past person for a reason. You left them out in the cold for a reason. So just always remember that. Okay? Don't try to allow. Because this person, I'm going I'm to be real. And my nose itchy. They know how to charm you. They know what to say. This is somebody who is very intelligent. I don't know if they're air sign. They're definitely an air. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I don't know. But King of Swords to me is Aquarius. So I don't know if this is Aquarius from your past. But they definitely know how to like make some shit sound good. Great. Fantastic. But I feel like it's all lies. It's only a way for them to get what they really want. And that's sex. Lust. You know, that's not fulfilling. Why do you think you possibly didn't even want this relationship? Because all this person possibly wanted was lust. You're not into that. You want to be fulfilled with love. Somebody who cares for you. Somebody who adores you, you know? Like, that's what I'm getting. So what else? What else? Eight of Wands in the reverse, yeah, you're definitely not talking to whoever this other person is. They want to talk to you. They're possibly blocked. Communication is blocked completely, okay? They're waiting. Somebody is just anticipating or waiting for you to reach out to them, and you're not. Sorry, you're not. You're, some of you guys, again, are in, with somebody new, completely new. You're not about to entertain this other person, especially when they couldn't decide between a Queen of Pentacles and a Queen of Cups. You're like, bro, how were you confused? How? So what else? Let's get some final messages to end off this reading. Wheel of Fortune, yeah, things are turning in your favor, collective. You're on the, oops. You're on the top of the wheel and somebody is on the bottom. Okay, like I said before, everything that you're working towards, it's coming in for you. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, again, this is possibly fated for you to meet this new lover. It was already a part of your journey. So you going through this cycle with this past person, it was just a cycle. Like I said before, you guys can be even seeing 1010 because you completed the cycle and now you're with somebody new. It's destined for you to be with somebody completely new. Somebody that you don't know, you you never met before. They could even be somebody from your past life. I don't know. But you're not supposed you're not meant to be with this past person. Again, this is somebody who came from the divine. 
your angels, your ancestors, God himself is the one who chose this person for you. Why do you think this person is so sweet, so loving, so kind, so gentle with you? Somebody is really going to take their precious time with you because I feel like they're going to, one thing about this new lover is they're going to notice that you've been through it. You have been through pain, suffering, and betrayals, and cheating, and this person's job is to make sure that you're comfortable, make sure that you're at peace. Somebody is going to bring you so much peace, and I feel like this is what you've been waiting on. Because everything else, or everybody else that you were entertaining in the past, they brought you nothing but chaos. And now, I feel like you finally get to rest, you finally get to breathe again you know so what else someone just said it's time it's time for you to be happy it's time for you to be loved properly it's time what else some of you guys are gonna be emotional I'm not even playing because I just feel like it's just like this is going to be unreal for you. You're like, oh my gosh, this is happening for me. This part, like, again, like, you're just going to look at your life and look how it was before or in the past. And it's going to be completely different, you know. And it's, it's going to make some of you guys emotional because it's just like you're going to be so happy. So what else? Wait, why am I hearing this song? Let me play it real quick. Where is it? I think it's in my phone somewhere. Let me turn this down because I don't want to copyright. And let me go to like the lyrics real quick, y'all. Because this is what I'm hearing. This is a song. <laughs> yeah, this is the song that I'm hearing, man. Look, wait, 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 wait. This song. Yeah, you're my favorite girl. So beautiful with Snoop Dogg and who else? Featuring Pharrell. Beautiful by Snoop Dogg and Pharrell. That song is significant. So yeah, this is a channeled song from your new lover, okay? Yeah, they're going to find you to be somebody who is extremely beautiful, extremely attractive. So it's like, why not treat her like the best? Why not treat why not treat him like the best? You know? That's what I'm getting. So what are some final messages? What are some final messages? Three of Wands, Page of Wands is here, and Page of Swords. Like I said before, this past person is going to have to watch you. They're going to be stalking you. It's going to feel a little uncomfortable because you know how like you feel when somebody's like watching you or this is like a monitoring spirit. Like this person is going to do everything in their power to like get the inside scoop of this new relationship that you're in or who you're with or what you're doing or what you're doing in your career. Like somebody is going to try to invade your privacy. That's what I'm getting. And it's because they missed out. That's really what I'm getting. And again, you're going to be moving forward. You're not going to be focused on this other person. You could care less because guess what? At the end of the day, you're the one that's going to be happy. You. Not them. You. Okay? So yeah, that is what I am getting for your collective reading. Please like, comment down below how you guys felt about this reading. Hit the like button if it was accurate. Let your girl know. Also, you guys, if you guys would like a personal reading from me, you guys can check my description box for my link to my Etsy. It will be in the description box. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Peace.